Report on this computer. Hey, let's do this. Tuesday night training call. Hey, everybody. So I've put everybody on mute, but as always, at the end of the call, I will unmute and uh, if you have any questions. But in the meantime, if you have any questions during the call, just move your arrow on the bottom and there's a little chat thing on a jigger there. You just click that and you can put, you know, whatever you need to say in the chat box and I'll um, keep coming to look at it. All right. Let's get this party started. Let's build the muscle of trust. Yes. Welcome to the Let's Build the Muscle of Trust training call. Discover how trusting yourself is the key to having it all in life. I want to acknowledge you for being here. Kudos to you for investing this time for yourself. My name is Denise Dominguez, and if you don't know about me, here is a bullet point of how I am able to be here and teach this trusting stuff to you. So the cliff note version of my story is, um, I was married for 22 years and I was in a very toxic relationship, and um, I was a mom, stay-at-home mom, and ran his business and did all that, and always put everybody before me. And uh, finally, after 22 years of living in, um, so that's like the nice version of the relationship. Um, after 22 years, I finally had the courage to leave. Talk about trust, right? And we're going to talk about that tonight because that's one of the biggest, one of the big stories that I have. I decided to leave. I put a plan together. It was a five month plan and I left and it wasn't the kind of divorce that could be in the same state. So I left and moved three states away. Two reasons. The first one I just mentioned. The second one, I was ready for big change, big, big change. So even though it was scary to leave my home state of Florida and move to North Carolina, it was still at the same time exciting, it was new, um, and I was ready. So that's the cliff note version. Um, yeah, that was, that was a biggie, leaving Florida and trusting myself because um, if you don't know about me, uh, I was financially dependent on my ex. 100% financially dependent on him. So the fact that I was leaving, not only the marriage, finally having the courage to, to do that, and then leaving the only state that I ever lived in, leaving my whole family, leaving everything and everybody, I, big trust, big trust there. Uh, but I did it. I did it. Everything worked out great. And we're going to talk about that tonight. So don't be shy. We are going to be interactive in this call. So pull up your chat box because tonight I'm asking questions and that is where you can answer them. So just hoover uh, your arrow towards the bottom and there should be a chat box and yeah, just click that. All right, let's do some housekeeping. This call is just for you. So make yourself a priority for the next 30 to 40 minutes. That means close out the other tabs on your computer, put your cell phone on silent, and just be here with me. And do you. This is for you. Hopefully, you are in a relaxing place to listen to this call. I call it my sacred place. It's a place where I am comfortable, and it's, it's, it's my space, right? So have your glass of tea or your Starbucks water like me, whatever you prefer to have next to you to drink, and just do you, right? So let me take a couple sips, and then we're going to take a couple deep breaths and um, be present for the call, for you, for everybody. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to um, 
shut off my camera for a second. Close your eyes and take a deep breath and breathe in as deep as you can. Hold it. Let it all out. So when you breathe in, I want you to breathe in the intention that you have for this call and the results that you want from this call. When you breathe out, I want you to breathe out all the crap from today. Ready? Breathe in. Hold it. Just for a few seconds. Let it all out. Awesome. One more time. Breathe in. Hold it. Try to take a little sip. Let it all out. Awesome. And when you, here's a little tip for you. When you um, are breathing in, connect your thumb and your index finger, and also when you meditate, okay, your thumb, your thumb represents yourself and your index finger represents knowledge. So you put those two together and, um, and you're connecting, right? So that's a little tip I learned and I wanted to pass that on to you. It's always good to have tips. All right, so now that we are here in the present moment, and anytime you, you are flustered, and this is not just during the call, but anytime during the day or anything, you're flustered and you're totally, woo, just do take a couple breaths and bring yourself back. All right. So do you ever wonder why you don't have what you want out of life? Have you ever thought, Okay, I think I know how to trust myself, but have you ever said no to something and later thought, damn, I should have done that? Or in contrast, you said yes to something that scared the crap out of you and everything worked out perfectly? Yeah. That's what we're talking about tonight. Trusting yourself and knowing the power of yes. I chose this topic because of my own experiences I've been through and now know when and how to trust myself. But I wasn't always like this. So I wanted to share this with you because I know I'm not alone in this trusting process. So I hosted a radio show called Blog Talk Radio. Up. It was on Blog Talk Radio. It's called It's Your Turn Radio podcast. I am a speaker, and my signature speech is Own Your Story So Your Story Doesn't Own You. And most recently, I am a two time best selling author and an international author. What? But things weren't always this awesome in my life. In fact, after 22 years of being in a very toxic marriage, I decided it was time to leave. I left and moved three states away with no job and manifest $10,000 to leave Florida. And that's not including the 10 days I was in Colorado on vacation. I'm just muting everybody, getting on the line. Okay. And I did this in only five months. I made a plan and I followed it and did everything that I set out to do. I became a woman's empowerment coach. And after knowing I wanted to help women get out of that stuck space that they're in, like I was, it's been my focus ever, it's been my focus ever since. So let's dive in. Let's dive in to, let's start with saying no, saying no to opportunities. When we say no to opportunities, we reject many of life's brilliant chances. These are often discussed as new career prospects, an opportunity to step up at work, a surprise request from a friend, or any type of unfamiliar challenge. 
anything that creates a spark of curiosity within us or generates some desire that typically like within our familiar days is often our intuition guiding us to say yes or at least to learn more. So for those of you who have just joined us for the call, um, there's a little chat box on the bottom if you have anything that you wanna ask during the call, but at the end, I will unmute everybody and take any questions, comments, or um, any coaching that you need. So I have six stories that I wanna talk about trusting, saying yes, um, and the power in it. Ooh! You know, but when we say no, that's our fear. That's our fear, and we let our fear get in the way. And we let our fears instead of our creativity and love guide us and rationalize and know, right? No, I don't have the money, or no, I don't have the time, or the can't fit in my schedule, or no, we, we come up with all kinds of excuses. In fact, going to my first story of um, actually trusting myself and saying yes, but I did say no, or had that ex those excuses in the beginning. And if you follow me, then you've heard this story before. And the reason why I repeat this story, because it was huge for me, it was the first time that I was able to make a decision for me, right? I was newly single. I hadn't left Florida yet. I wasn't in uh, North Carolina yet, but um, uh, we were separated, and this opportunity came to me, right? Keyword, opportunity, came to me for my daughter, and the opportunity was, hey, mom, let's, great idea, right? Your 17-year-old comes to you and says, hey, mom, let's fly out to Colorado and help our friends move, pack up and move, and then we're going to drive the, the big old moving truck from Colorado all the way down to South Florida. Sounds great, right? Well, the first thing that came to my mind when that opportunity came to me was no. No, because I was saving money. Remember, I didn't have a job in Florida, and I didn't have a job here in North Carolina. And I had the intention to bring $10,000 with me or to have $10,000 in order to leave because that was my amount of money that I felt safe to leave. Because remember, I was totally financially dependent on my ex. So I needed like a, a nest egg. I mean, I needed to get an apartment and all that good stuff. So I said no. And then the conversation in my head went like this. Okay, Denise, if you were with him, my ex, and this opportunity came to you, you wouldn't be quote unquote allowed to do something like this. It would be totally out of the question. And now you're letting money stand in the way. So in that moment, I chose me and I said, yes, I said yes to this opportunity. Now I had to let go of the money piece. Uh, when I said yes, I, I thought to myself, okay, it'll be there somehow, some way, I don't know, it'll be there. Kind of the same mindset that I had from the beginning of when I left, right? So I was stuck for 22 years in that toxic relationship. And finances was a big, big reason why I stayed there. And the whole how, how was I going to do this? How was I going to do that? was running through my head, and that kept me stuck for so long. And then it came to a point where I said, screw it. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I don't know how I'm gonna have $10,000 when I leave, but it's gonna happen, right? I set the intention and I let go of the how. That's how you make things happen. That is the power of trusting. I was, didn't even know it at the time, but I was building my trust muscle in that moment of saying yes. And so I went off to Colorado for 10 days with all of my belongings still in Florida. 
and not leaving for North Carolina yet. 10 days in North Carolina, totally enjoyed myself, had a fantastic time. I'd never been in Colorado before that. I went white river rafting. Too bad we're not on a webinar because I would show you the picture of me um, doing my river rafting, which was so much fun in Colorado. Gorgeous, gorgeous state. If you've never been there, I highly recommend you go and visit. And um, this was in June of 2011, and I had a fantastic time. And guess what? When it was time for me to leave Florida and come to North Carolina, I promise you, this is a true story, when I swiped my card to rent the truck to move, I had exactly, to the dime, $10,000 in my account. It all worked out. It all worked out. So that's one of my stories of trusting myself, trusting the process, and everything totally worked out the way it was supposed to, right? Leaving Florida is another story of trusting myself. Because remember, 22 years of being stuck and being financially dependent on him and thinking, well, if I left, how, how would I do this? And how would I do that? And how would I create money? And where would I work? And where would my kids live? And how, how? And trying to figure out every freaking little step of the way. And it was when I said, screw it, I'm just going to take one step at a time as it is in front of me and tackle that, not this whole giant thing, just one right in front of the other, everything worked out. Trusting myself, trusting the process, leaving, because believe me, I was scared. I was scared to leave for so many reasons. I was scared to leave him. I was scared of what he was going to do. I was scared to be on my own. I was scared of tearing the family apart. This was the reason why I stayed for so many years because I didn't want to be the one to do it, right? I didn't want that guilt. But what I was doing by keeping the family together, which was only in a physical form, was I was actually tearing the family apart from the inside because I was enabling all of the bad behavior and all of that stuff. That's a whole nother call. But if you follow me, you know what happened. And when I finally let go of how this was all going to work out, everything worked out, right? So let's talk about saying yes a little bit more. We often need to say no to others, right? By saying yes, we often need to say no to others. So I'm not saying be a yes person, right? Go around and say yes and yes and yes. That's not what this is about. We're feeling pressure to do things we don't want to do. It's about having the courage and conviction to do the things we know we really want to do. So much sometimes they scare us. Leaving my 22-year marriage scared me, but it also excited me. Saying yes to Colorado scared me, but it also excited me. And I have more stories. Um, so it's, it's really trusting. When you trust yourself, you're listening to yourself, listening to your body. Even there's questions you can ask your body. Ask yourself, is this the right move? But ultimately, you know. You know inside of you. It's like, when you say a series of statements that are true and then you lie, you feel that shift and that change inside of you, right? So if I was to say, my name is Denise Dominguez, I live in North Carolina, I own an iPhone, um, I do live training calls every Tuesday, um, I eat meat. That's a lie at the end. So trusting yourself is really knowing 
having the knowing, feeling the knowing, trusting the knowing, being aware of it, and going with it. Right? You know. So the next example story that I want to talk about is when I moved to North Carolina and I was on my own. And of course, you know, in Florida, I was running his business and successfully, it was a, a service business. He provided the service. Um, he went to the customer's house and I did everything else, right? Well, this was great because it really built up my confidence that I could freaking run a business. Um, and I always wanted my own business and I just, but I just didn't know what. I did all the network marketing things and this and that. I have actually a point to this. <laughs> Sometimes I totally woo, go random. But I was doing the bookkeeping. I was doing all the calls. I was doing all the marketing. Um, all of the inside part I was doing. And I did it successfully. I even took the business to another level, right? And another level. And it was really growing. And then I left. And then I came here to North Carolina. And so uh, because it was his business that I was running, when I came here to North Carolina, what did I do? Naturally, I went back to what I knew, which was the medical field, which is what I went to school for. So I went and did medical sales, right? I needed to work. And I promise you it wasn't long <laughs> that I was doing the whole medical sales, nine to five, Monday through Friday, blah, blah, blah. And thought, yeah, this is not fulfilling to me. And here's what I know. Uh, I can run a business. I did it in Florida. But I didn't want that type of a business, you know? And so I thought of this and I thought of that. And, and I thought, I want a, I want a business where I can do whatever I want. I don't want to be confined like a brick and mortar to a store or to an office or anything like that. I want the laptop life. That sounds good. So long story short, click here, click there. Facebook loves to give you what you want. Here I am with this beautiful blonde in California. She is a business coach and she's saying, I can promise you six figures and a year, blah, 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 blah. Click here and get, you know, put your name and your email and get my seven day video series and I'm gonna show you how. Great, awesome. Clicked, got her seven day video series and got some information. Then at the end, you get a free call. Great, free coaching call. Who doesn't love that? Get on the coaching call and guess what? I'm being offered to be inside her program for one year with a $700 down deposit and $527 a month for one year. Now, I was only making maybe $30,000. Medical sales sounds a lot more wonderful than it really is. Yeah. And guess what I said? So here we go with the conversation that went inside my head. The first thought was, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. That was, I think my rent was like 800 bucks. 527, that's almost my whole rent. No. And here's the other part of the conversation that went inside my head. Okay, Denise. Now, if you were with him, this is what he would say. Two things. That's way too much money which what's the, what's the message that that's sending? You're not worth it. And the other thing he would say is, you're never gonna finish it anyway. So in that moment, I chose me and I let go of the how, was I gonna pay this bill? And I said, yes. I said yes to this opportunity because I wanted the freedom to have what I want, when I want, how I want it. I want to travel and have the freedom to still make money. I want to help people. I want to do things for me. I don't want to be tied down to an office. I don't want to be tied down to a desk. I want freedom. 
that's really the biggest reason why I wanted the laptop life and built this business was I wanted the total freedom. And then everything else was just cherries on top. And I said, yes. And it scared the crap out of me. Yes, it did. Cause uh, I had no idea how I was going to pay that 527 a month for one year. I had no idea. And I can't even get into all the things that happened inside that year because that would take us to another 30 minutes. But I, I did go back and not trust myself and not trust that I could do it. But the end result was everything worked out. Duh, we're here, right? <laughs> everything worked out. Everything worked out. Just another example of me trusting myself and what a wonderful decision that was to say yes and trusting myself that I could do this. Not only about the bill, not only about the what I owed and, um, you know, that part of it, but really just trusting myself and building this business and being able to have clients all over the world and helping women through my stories and my struggles. It's, it's far beyond what I ever imagined could happen. Far beyond way. So we're coming up on 30 minutes. And you know I like to keep this short. And I still have three more stories. So I'm going to tell these super, super quick because I really just want the point to get across to you. And it's about trusting. And it's about every time you say yes to something that in your heart you know it's good for you, even if it's down to a pair of shoes that you see, that you love, even little things like that. In fact, you know what? That's a great way to start, is start with the little things to help you build that muscle of trust. So here's another story. My car. Now, when I came here to North Carolina, I had my car from Florida. It was a 2006 Scion TC, and uh, I thought it was hot shit in that car. <laughs> had no note. It was paid off, and that was safety for me. That was secure, right? Here we go. I'm going to step outside my comfort zone and think about letting go of a car payment. And really the only reason was because there was nothing wrong with my car. I just wanted a four-door. I just wanted something different. I wanted something newer. Long story short, I went to the car dealership. And in my mind, I was thinking 2012-ish, right? Because I can't get new, new. So I thought, I'm going to go for new use. And I'm going to stay in the price range of about 10, 12. Well, I walked out with a brand new 2000, this was 15, 2015, brand new Toyota with 19 miles on it. And I've had it ever since and never once had any issues with the car payment or anything. So that was another great testimony of trusting myself. And you know, every time you do this, you also come out feeling really proud of yourself that this is, this is you, trusting you. The core of who you are is trusting you. Have you ever seen a baby? You know, I always talk about how when we're five and under, that's who we really truly are. So do you ever see a baby not trusting themselves? So a perfect example of that and that I was given a client the other day was, um, you know, sometimes we're standing on the ledge, right? Like swimming lessons. When do you take swimming lessons? About eight, nine? Um, if you live in Florida, like younger. Sitting on the edge of the pool, and there's your swimming instructor, or maybe your mom or your dad or somebody you trust, and they're standing there with their arms out, ready to catch you. And literally from you standing on the edge to the hands is maybe two feet, maybe. And you're still scared. You're still scared to jump. Trust yourself and take that leap of faith that everything's going to be okay. And I promise you it will be. It will be okay. All right. 
two more stories and I can only pick one because we're running out of time. I think quitting my job would be the better one to talk about. Um, last year, around this time, I was working for the medical sales company, 18 months, built up all their accounts, and they came to me and said, here, Denise, here's a contract that you've never signed before, and it says, you're gonna work more and get paid less. And I said, no, I'm not. And they said, well, yes, you are, and if you don't sign this, then you will be let go. And I thought, well, you know what? I had been through way too much coaching, been through way too many experiences, and without a backup plan, meaning having a job ready to fall back on, I said, screw you, I'm not signing this contract. I'm not. I'll work with you and we can edit the contract because basically what they were saying is we're gonna take away your um, commissionable items. I'll work with you and we can edit the contract. I'm willing to do that, but I'm not signing the contract exactly the way it is. And they said, you're signing the contract exactly the way it is, or you will be let go. So I chose not to sign the contract. This was last year. And I remember my branch manager saying, I've never ever fired somebody. And they had such a huge smile on their face. And I said, because you don't know what you're doing for me. You're gifting me right now. You're handing me a gift. That was last year. I had planned to leave the job at the end of last year, 2016, anyway, like around November, December. But the universe had different plans for me. The universe had different plans for me. So I never looked for another full-time job. I said, screw it. I'm just going to go with this. I have more time to focus on my business. I have more time for my clients. I have more time to help more people. I have made wonderful, awesome connections here locally because I couldn't network locally because I was working full time. And everything fell into place exactly the way it was supposed to because I trusted myself that signing that contract was not the right thing to do. I was trusting myself that if I signed that contract that stated you're gonna work more and get paid less, I knew that that was the message I was sending out to the universe and I was not willing to do that. I was not willing to do that because the whole idea here for everybody in life everybody in the world is to work less and get paid more, right? How am I going to travel and all these things that I've been creating if I sign this contract? So it was absolutely the right thing to do. Just like leaving Florida, just like saying yes to the Colorado trip, just like hiring my first business coach with a huge bill that I couldn't afford just like buying my car. All of those things are exactly what I was intended to do. But if I would have been so scared and let fear step and stay in my way and chose to say no to those opportunities, where would I be? So the question for you is, are you trusting yourself? When opportunities come to you, do you say no? You know you need it. You know you want it, but you're too scared because of this excuse or that excuse. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's an excuse. Every time I said no to something, it was just an excuse. It was a money excuse. It was a time excuse. It was a this excuse. It was a that excuse. It was just an excuse. Have that conversation with yourself. Talk to yourself. And if it feels right, then go with it and let go of how, whatever you're thinking, like if it's money or time or whatever, let go of that. Or if you're just plain scared to do whatever it is, 
let go of that fear. Push through that fear. Push that thing out of the way. Fear will always hold you down. Fear will always keep you in a safe and small place in life. Always. It will never expand you. It will never help you grow. Never. It will always keep you small. You will miss out on so many beautiful, wonderful things in life if you let fear take over time and time again. I promise you. Fear is a liar. It is a liar, and it will always keep you small. That's what our brains do. It, they protect us. That's what it's doing is protecting us, keeping us small. Stay at that nine-to-five job. Don't take a chance. Don't build a business. No. What are you going to do about a check? You need a check every two weeks, right? Don't leave your toxic relationship because even this dysfunction you know, you know this dysfunction. You don't know this over here. That's what fear does. It keeps us here. It doesn't want us here. But here is where the beauty is. This is where the excitement is. This is where the opportunities are. This is where all the good shit is over here. This is the shit. I do not regret one millisecond that I am not in Florida. And I miss the sun. And I miss the beach. I'm not going to lie, but I don't miss living in Florida. And every year that I'm here in North Carolina, I realize more and more what a right decision that was that I took. I love my family, but they're toxic. I come from toxic. That's why I married toxic. And again, I love them, but I needed that space away from them so that I could reflect and do me and focus on me. And take time for me, because for all those years, I was taking care of everybody else. Everybody. So ask yourself, when these opportunities come, feel, feel that in your body. Ask your body. You know even before you ask. You know the answer before you ask. So... I have my enclosing here somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> All the way down here, enclosing. Thank you so much for being here tonight and choosing you. And you are so worthy of having your dream life. You really are. And you need to know that. Stop letting fear stand in your way. Take a chance. Let go of the how. I hope you continue to work on your dream life and make yourself a priority. And as always, I invite you to get on a 90-minute free coaching call with me. 90 minutes, all coaching. And in this call, I will show you what's standing in your way, where's your blocks, how you're showing up energy-wise. And I'll heal that with you. I have testimonies right now on the call right now after I unmute them, that I will show you and pull that out of you and heal that with you ASAP. All right. So I'm going to go to you guys and unmute everybody. Um, if you have any questions, Yes. The hells are so tiring. Hey, who's this? 910 yes, area this code. Is, yes, this is Z Bill. I uh, worked with you before. Hey, Z, how are you? I'm good. Yes, I um I really appreciate you giving me the 90 minute consultation. That was a huge help because you taught me about mirror work and that was very very pow powerful for me to to give myself that inner and outer assurance at the same time awesome i'm glad it helped. great yeah yeah it helped a whole lot and i, I just it's just for me it, it's some people seem to have this it's like they have this switch this miracle switch in their life where they're able to just manifest automatically you know the 
support for themselves. And I'm just trying to figure out that feeling of security for some reason eludes me. It's as if I don't feel safe in my own skin sometimes enough for my body to trust the mental knowingness I'm already having. Okay, so you said the magic words. You're trying to figure out. So that's where the how. Okay. You need to let go of the hows. How am I going to do this? Okay. How am I going to figure this out? Let all of that go. And oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, and just oh feel yeah. And be who you want to be, who you desire, and visualize what you want in your life. Be there. And don't worry about how mm. you to manifest that. In. And so here's a perfect example. So close your eyes and tell me what it would feel like if you had, I'm just going to throw something out there, um, uh, a big, beautiful house. Now don't, I'm not telling you to visualize the actual house. I'm asking you to, how would it feel for you to have that big, oh, beautiful house? Goodness. Oh my goodness. It would feel like a fairy tale. Okay. That's what you need to do. Feel the feeling that you would have if you had that in your possession now. And don't worry about how you're going to bring that into your life. Because the universe has wow. far bigger plans than we could ever imagine. Right? Oh, yes. So if yes. I would have stayed in my house, how is I going to leave Florida? How is I going to do this? I'd still be there. I'd still be in that toxic environment. And I would still be trying to figure out how. We could spend the rest of our lives trying to figure out how. Forget about figuring. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, and you know, that, that for me is just, it, I have a very over-analytical mind. Mm -hmm. Mm, we all and, do. <laughs> and, and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's sometimes that mind wants to throw a tantrum and things like that. And that's where I have to really try and have some willpower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just, it's really about letting go. I think I have a call scheduled for letting go. Um, if not, I can put one in the schedule for letting go because that, the biggest thing we hold on to all of the messages and all of the shit and all the things that we that yes, we know yes. that we need to do or have and the reality is no we don't we do not our brains are not even equipped to figure out what we want it's up to the universe we just need to feel it and ask ask for it mm. Yeah. yeah, it's so relaxing. So we just have to open to receive. Yeah, just let go of how it's going to happen. Let go of how it's going to happen. Stop trying to figure it out. It's okay. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. And we can start off small, right? Absolutely. Yes. Definitely start off small. Oh, yeah. We don't want to overwhelm ourselves either. Oh, yeah, that's so true. Definitely don't want to overwhelm myself at all. That right. is the, the hardest part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, start small. Wow, thank you so much, Miss Thank You're you. You're welcome. Makes you feel so much better. You're truly You're heaven sent. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad I could help. Definitely. Anybody else? Okay. All right. I don't see anything in the chat except for the hows are just so tiring. Robin, you're so right. Let them go. Let them go. Um, I think I'm going to put like um, a meditation on letting go together and I'll put it up on my YouTube channel. So everybody on the call now, if you're not on my YouTube channel, go to my YouTube and follow me because every Tuesday night, what I do is I'll upload the Tuesday night call on YouTube can watch it there and uh, I'm gonna put that meditation together because I've been thinking about it and it's I need to do it and it's about you know. and uh, if you could go into your subconscious mind and in this meditation and let go of whatever it is for you that you need to let go of and um, create a visual that I will do for you in this guided meditation then how amazing would that be 
pretty cool. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? All right. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the call. You're welcome. Thanks, Tanae. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.